Ben from R&B Reptiles here. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, we're just sitting here playing around with some pro cocoa bedding as we are refilling everything uh, with coconut bedding. And uh, we're just gonna give you a couple updates on what's going on around the shop. So stay tuned with us. We got in some mail. And we're just gonna open it real quick. Um, the mailbox is closed today. So I got this in my personal mail the other day. This knife is sharp enough. Um, hmm. Okay. The invoice, all right, great. Hey, hey, you. Personal note says so thank you. Does not. Thank you, Ryan and Ben. <laughs> I've been a long time fan. <laughs> so glad that you reached out. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Look at this. Hey, you. Beach Bum Exotics. Finally in the Beach Bum Exotics Club. Yeah, it's about time. Um, <laughs> I like these shirts, the next level shirts. These yeah. are the same shirts we brought ours on. They're very, very comfortable. You want to put them on? Are we doing that thing? Yeah. Oh, isn't that our thing? Is it? Yeah. Boom. All right. <laughs> okay. Right. Peach Bum Exotics, thanks. That one looks thicker. Oh, maybe not. Signature. You look thicker. Hey. hey. Thanks. We like them. <laughs> All right. These are awesome. Awesome, thanks. We're going to uh, try to wear them at shows and stuff. And uh, I was told that I need to wear my own RB Reptile shirts when I'm at shows because people come up to me and think that I work for whatever shirt I'm wearing, which is silly. Don't wear the band to the show. I just like promoting other people. Anyway, all right, thanks. Thanks. So we have a couple girls that are getting big and I know a lot of people are like, hey man, so when are you gonna do the next uh, bid on, you know, different projects? And uh, so I wanna show you a couple of girls here. We have um, our, what we call Arroyo thing. So this came from um, an Arroyo or Rio to, what was that pairing? GHI possible Arroyo. So it was a GHI possible Arroyo to Arroyo, right? Well, we now b believe that our female Arroyo is a Rio. So if that were the case, then they would have both been Arroyos. Right. Because she would right. be super. True. So that would have been a GHI Arroyo. But that still looks. Dip it's wrong. just real crazy because it doesn't look Rio or Arroyo. Um, but she's getting big. Definitely has a royal traits, but yeah, it could be an incubation issue. And what we mean by that is sometimes when eggs incubate, they might be in the middle of the pack of eggs or um, on the outskirts and they might get a little bit cooler than the others or might be a little warmer. And that could cause slight issues and maybe not issues as maybe issues is the wrong word, but it could cause slight changes in the pattern and colors that are really hard to explain. Um, some of the interesting weird things here is this oranging here in along her belly. Um, the really reduced alien heads, super black, has the colors of an Arroyo a bit, but we would expect, you know, more of these here, that putting green, which is what I call it. Um, it definitely has the fingers or thumbprints, like what uh, Phil and Sam say from Powerline Reptiles. Ooh, all right. Um, let's see if I can't get her to show some of that. So like this here, so these flames that come up that are just white, they're almost like finger marks. It's an Arroyo trait. Has the popcorn belly, what Ryan calls. Um, Usually it leaves a white line down the dead center. So she doesn't have that, but uh, she has a dirty belly. 
So there's a lot of traits like Arroyo with her, but she doesn't look a lot like Arroyo. Her head looks really Arroyo um, to me. Just the way that the colors and the way this, all right, <laughs> the way that this comes and looks kind of like a bone and the colors and the head pattern there. But aside from that, she doesn't look Arroyo. It's, just, it's really strange and obviously not GHI. Um, could be a Rio, but... If we put her side by side with the Arroyo that we have right on the same rack. All right, yeah, let's pull out the regular Arroyo. Just so you can see the... All right. So that may be a, a Rio. This girl here? Yeah. So, this is... Arroyo, it's possible Rio, but you see some of these elongated spots here on the dorsal. Um, the color looks real chocolatey. It's really dark in between, but has that dorsal stripe. You can see the color variation, way more orange. Mm -hmm. And you'll see, uh, if I'm not getting too crazy here, the, the finger marks here. Coming up the sides, like that, and the popcorn belly. So this is definitely a Royo, possible Rio. Um, this dorsal stripe looks a bit more on the Rio side, but should have some of these spots on them. It's that little island there. Uh, putting green I call them. So this is, it's very likely this is a Rio. Um, now that she's getting some size I can really start to tell that I think she's a Rio. And this one, we're just not sure. So that's an update. She's getting big. Uh, they're both getting big. Um, right around 500 grams or so. Ryan, correct me if I'm wrong. Sure. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna be keeping an eye on these. Hopefully these guys get up to size. Um, soon but like we tell people slow and uh steady as you as they grow is better so we don't like force feed tons and tons uh, and power feed but uh, we try to keep it on a regular basis with weekly or um every other week feedings so they seem to be getting big and going along good so keep an eye on these here's another update this is one of the ones that we'll be selling um, this is a male firefly enchi yellow belly. So that's a pastel fire enchi yellow belly. And uh, this boy is coming along well. Males can breed, you know, 350 grams or so and up. Um, it really depends on when they're ready biologically and uh, kind of age wise. Once they start producing sperm plugs, they'll be ready to go. We don't recommend necessarily breeding them at 350 grams. That's true. Just saying that. It can be pretty stressful when they're that yeah. young. But we're in the 600 gram range is where we like to start to introduce. Definitely. See how clean that belly is? Beautiful white down the middle with just that highlighter yellow along the edges. He's just super, super beautiful. Smoking hot. Has that cool uh, bullseye there. Lots of, of fun. Lots of orange blushing. Yep, lots of orange blushing. I hope that the camera's picking this up good. It's uh, better in person, <laughs> as always. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. He's available on our Morph Market. You can check him out, um, weather permitting, which it's been a little bit warmer lately. So um, yeah, check it out there. This is a firefly in his dream. It is. All right, guys, here we have what we believe is a super pastel triton. So that would be Enchi Fire Pastel, well, super pastel, and Orange Dream. Look at those sides. They're like kind of ghosts down at the bottom, so it's like almost hypo-ish, these little orange flames creeping out the top. Very pretty snake. If 
If you message us about this snake, we can uh, tell you what we think the head pattern looks like. <laughs> it's got a look at it from the right angle. Comment down below if you think you know what that looks like. Once you see it, it's hard to unsee it. <laughs> Cannot be unseen. But for sale, for sale on the morph market. Here we have a Firefly Orange Dream Mail. Very beautiful. We produced quite a few males this year that would have definitely been staying here if they were female because they're really nice looking. <laughs> this one's ridiculous looking. But, um. And coloring up so great. It's unbelievable. Uh, so we're go we're gonna be doing for two weeks, right, Ben? Two weeks. Yeah, hey, undisclosed time, I guess. An undisclosed period of time that we're gonna be taking twenty five percent off everything. Everything. <laughs> everything. Even your clothes. Taking twenty five percent of my clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. <laughs> yeah. So twenty five percent off. Uh, message us on Facebook. Instagram, you can call or text Ben, 856-649-3149, anytime, day or night. Check our Morph Market. Are we going to update the prices on the Morph Market? Yes. All right, we're gonna prices up as listed. Prices as listed on Morph Market, so check that out. Link down below. So, we're uh, done in the snake room for today. So, we're going to open up a, uh, a snake that Ryan said that we weren't going to be buying any snakes this year but he's surprising me with something um i guess there was a deal that he could not refuse but uh so we're gonna open it up <laughs> and uh check this guy guy girl sure oh boy okay so let's see what we got here it's a nice day it's uh we got lucky time of year to catch uh, some sun so I figured we'd do that now we got it open hmm that's interesting what did I buy what did Ryan buy me this is mine I guess Wow so I'm not sure what this is this is um it's very yellow, but it's dark black, and then it has these um, blushing in between. Look at the belly. Look at the belly, he says. All right. Whoa, the belly's super white and clean. Um, I don't know, Ryan. What is it? <laughs> You're better at this than I am, so. There's a bunch of alien heads here that are close together and I guess we're gonna zoom in here in a minute so this is a white lace 66% het clown male oh snap white lace 66% het clown male that's great I wish it was proven that'd be even better but oh uh, you know the pockets only go so deep yeah wow we wanted to get into the white lace so Check out this belly. Wow, white lace, huh? I hope that it's a het clown. That'd be awesome. We'll see. So, uh, what projects are we going to do with this guy? I figure we'll breed him to a pastel. <laughs> Well, we gotta bring him to a cl a clown, female, and or at least a het clown female, and uh, definitely to get more lace stuff, I guess. <laughs> so we have a a female ready for him right now. Whenever he comes is ready to come out of quarantine, okay, we can put him to our Enchi Cinnamon Het Clown female. I was gonna say that to try to prove him out. And she's cinnamon head clown female would be great. Cool.
cool. Well, this is a goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Thanks, Ryan, for this awesome gift. Yes, that's what it was. He's real active. And it's kind of cool out, but it's not cold, so this is great in the sunlight. Ben from RB Reptiles here. Hope you're enjoying your day. We have a great video for you today. We uh, are just playing around with some Repti Chip. <laughs> no, that doesn't, doesn't comply. Do we want to mess with that guy? All right. <clears throat> okay. Ready? <laughs> we got in some mail. Um, oh, do that again. Stop it. Yeah. Alright, do we go like this? Your arms up and then like pull them down. Does that work? <laughs> okay. <laughs> go like this and just go like that. You gonna do it this way? Okay. Do the throw it up in the air. Are you ready? We can do it, we just do it together like this. As always. Can't even feel it on the on TV, but you can you can feel them like this. <laughs> Tell me about the tax sale. So it's tax season, and we figured we'd do a tax sale. Mail. Just want to double check. <laughs>